Welcome to another session of Circuits and Networks. In today's class 4 under gate exam, we are going to see problems and solutions on transient analysis in previous gate exams. We'll go with the first problem which was asked in gate 2023 for ECE paper for one mark. In the circuit shown, the switch S was closed for a long time. If the switch is open at t equal to 0, the maximum magnitude of the voltage VR is dash. So you can see here the circuit, uh, you have a switch S, it was closed for a long time and at t equal to 0, it got open. So we need to find out what is the developed voltage of resistor uh, that will maximum condition. So we'll start with the solution. So as I told you, inductor was closed for a long time and it shows this uh, steady state behavior, means what inductor will get charged up to some current value. What is the current? We need to see. So in figure 1a, uh, this is how the circuit would like. Uh, two volts will give supply to this combination of 1 and 2 in parallel with the inductor which got shorted because of its property. Inductor under steady state uh, BLS short circuit. So when you look into this figure 1a, you have two volts connected in series with 1 ohm. In fact, uh, the current which is flowing through 1 ohm, it will come through this short wire and it comes back to this 2 volts once again. Uh, so overall current that is I of 0 minus would be 2 divided by 1 which is nothing but 2 amperes. This is the important catch over here and we should also know that I of 0 plus would be also equal to 2 amperes. Okay, as the switch is open at T equal to 0, the shorted inductor now acts as source current as shown in figure 1b. So here in this figure, you can see the switch is open at t equal to 0. So 1 ohm which was connected in series with 2 volts, it got disconnected. So it becomes dummy nature. In fact, the inductor which got charged to the value of 2 amperes, which we is treating as I of 0 plus, it will be driving the rest of the circuit. So the, from the given convention of the problem, plus was on this side, minus was on this side. And if at all I want to know the value of voltage across the resistor, we need to calculate the resistor voltage by taking the current into the consideration which would be flowing through the resistor in this direction, that is in anti-clockwise. If that's so, the value of resistance voltage would be 4 volts. And that extract is the maximum value. So this type of questions were previously asked in gate exams. You will see now uh, n number of problems uh, we have selected here, uh, which gives the same concept of switching conditions, whether it is inductor or capacitor. In the next problem you can see in the same gate 2023 for electrical engineering it was asked for one mark. So this is an important uh, catch over here. You can see the resistors uh, values are separated, inductor and capacitor values are separated and they are not mentioned in the problem. Uh, this type of problems are now frequently asked in the gate exam in order to uh, take the time of the student uh, during the actual exam. Uh, so here by looking into the circuit, first you replace the resistors, inductors and capacitor values with the given values and then look into the circuit. So for time t less than 0, the circuit is at steady state with the switch k is closed. If the switch is open at t equal to 0, the value of the voltage across inductor, that is the requirement, inductor voltage at t equal to 0 plus in volts is dash. We have to round out up to one decimal place. So take a paper and pen, draw the circuit as it is given, close the switch, replace the values of resistor R1, R2 and R3, L and C with the actual values which are given here and then try to solve the rest of the problem. So enough of time you can take you have taken I have, I have to go with the solution so for that I am taking at t equal to 0 minus assuming the switch is closed for the long duration of time the steady state conditions would have been reached. So inductor BS has short circuit capacitor BS has open circuit this is what uh, the important properties of inductor and capacitor and the rest of the resistor values are kept as it is in this circuit you can see here uh, I have shorted the inductor I have open circuit to the voltage uh, uh, capacitor with open circuit. Now this is the circuit. In this circuit, uh, when you are going to calculate the current, 
In fact, this K is replaced by a switch. Now, those are the complete uh, R3 in parallel with 10 amperes. And this R2, it becomes open circuited because of this OC. So, R1 is here. And total voltage which will be developed across R1 would be VR1. The current which will be flowing in R1. In fact, the same current would be flowing through this short circuit wire. Uh, so, that current I am uh, calculating with the help of current division rule as IR1 equal to 10 amperes. That is the actual current source multiplied with opposite resistor. For this R1 opposite right now is IR3. Uh, so, R3 divided by R1 plus R3 the sum of the parallel resistors. So, with this I am going to get the value of IR1 as 6 amperes. As I told you, uh, this is the same current would be flowing across the short circuit over here. So, that current I am treating here as uh, IL of 0 minus, which is equivalent to quite IR1 current. So, please make a note of this. And the resistance voltage is nothing but uh, this uh, resistance current that is 6 amperes multiplied with 2, that is a resistor, which will be giving you the value of voltage across this R1 as 12 volts. In fact, its open circuit voltage, its open circuit voltage is parallelly connected over here to this capacitor. So, the same voltage would be appearing across the capacitor. So, that you need to keep in the mind that VC of 0 minus is nothing but 12 volts. So, as I discussed, uh, we have already calculated the current of resistor R1 as 6 amperes, uh, the resistance R1 voltage as 12 volts and the same voltage is present across this open circuit. Now, these conditions where when the switch was closed for long duration of time. Now, uh, keeping in mind of R1, R2 and R3 as 2 ohms, 2 ohms and 3 ohms respectively, when the switch is open at T equal to 0, we need to know that the capacitor is charged to 12 volts because of the previous condition and it is charged to 6 amperes. That we need to know. And this is how the circuit will look like at T equal to 0 plus. This R3 will get disconnected and 10 amperes is driving the circuit, right? You have R1 as 2 ohms, R2 as 2 ohms, and you have the capacitor replaced by the voltage source and inductor replaced by the current source. So, this is how the property would be uh, when you are going to open the switch at t equal to 0. So, applying KCL at this particular node, why they are applying KCL at this particular node? Because we know that the current here it is incoming as 10 amperes. 6 amperes it is outgoing over here. I should know what is the current which is flowing in 12 volts. So, that would be I, small i. So, that would be obtained with the help of KCL. That is the sum of the currents that particular node is equal to 0. With that, I am going to get the value of I equal to 4 amperes. Lovely. Now, I have 6 amperes outgoing here, 4 amperes outgoing here, and 10 amperes incoming here. So, the KCL is balanced. Now, once uh, current is obtained, let, is, let us calculate the voltage across 2 ohms, which we know that it is 12 volts. And similarly, when 4 ohms is flowing through 2 ohms, so 4 amperes is flowing through 2 ohms, we will be getting 8 volts as a drop over this resistor. Now, you have in series with 12 volts. Now, this is a voltage, source voltage. The doublet voltage across uh, R2 would be um, uh, nothing but 8 volts. And the uh, voltage which already got developed across 2 ohms, that is 12 volts, we have over here. And we need to know what exactly the value of the voltage which is developed across 6 amperes, that is the inductor. For this, I am applying KVL in clockwise direction as shown by this arrow. So, I am going to get this minus 12. I am going from this side, minus 12, minus 8, right? Plus 12, 2 multiplied with 6, plus 12, plus VL. VL is the voltage across this inductor or the source current, which was developed. And VL would be equal to 8 volts. As I told you, uh, very important and basic uh, concepts they are frequently asked in gate exams. As you can see in the problem 3, uh, gate 2010, which was asked for one mark per triple paper, uh, the switch in the circuit has been closed for a long time. It is open at t equal to 0. At t equal to 0 plus the current through the capacitor, 1 microfarad is. So we need to find out the value of the current through the capacitor. Just remember the property of the capacitor. Uh, when the switch was closed for the long duration of time, capacitor would have completely charged, so it becomes open circuit. In fact, that 
voltage would be nothing but the voltage across the resistor 4 ohms this you need to keep in your mind uh, the options are given as 0 ampere 1 ampere 1.25 ampere and 5 ampere so we we'll start with the solution for t equal to 0 minus assuming the switch was closed for long duration of time and the steady state conditions would have been reached so this is how the circuit will look like as i told you one microfarad uh, whatever the value of the capacitor is the developed voltage across the capacitor is nothing but the uh, open circuit voltage across the resistor 4 ohms so that is why we are treating here as vc of 0 minus and plus minus why it is okay because the current was flowing from 5 volts so that's why current is going from this point to this point that is through 4 ohms so that current would be nothing but i of t in fact it should be i of t uh, 0 minus in fact so anyhow the current when it is flowing through the uh, resistance 4 ohms the voltage developed across the capacitor of the resistor it would be 5 uh, multiplied with the uh, resistor 4 divided by 1 plus 4 this we have obtained with the help of voltage division rule formula so with this we will get the value of vc of 0 minus as 4 volts and that is the same voltage which would be developing across the 4 ohms in fact i can replace this vc of 0 minus with 4 volts and this switch when it is open 5 volts will get disconnected and you will be having 4 volts connected in series or a closed circuit with 4 ohms because the charge capacitor acts like a voltage source like this remember in your mind that it is nothing but vc of 0 plus okay the same voltage it is there now if the same voltage is applied across the 4 ohm resistor the current would be i of 0 plus and that would be equivalent to 1 ampere so these kind of problems were asked in previous grade exams so option b is the right answer here and the next problem the time constant for the given circuit will be so when you have a time constant conditions whenever you have current source just open circuit this current source and calculate the time constant so this was asked for gate 2008 for electrical paper under two months options were given as 1 by 9 second 1 by 4 second 4 second and 9 second so as i told you the time constant for rc network is given by tau is equal to rc and remove the current source we get this is how the circuit will look like now you can see one farad one farad are in parallel that is in series with one farad and the combination is multiplied with a resistor of 3 plus 3 that is 6 ohms so tau equal to rc so here 6 that is 3 plus 3 is become 6 and the capacitance value would be 1 farad parallel to 1 farad in series with 1 farad so 6 the resistance value 1 uh, 1 farad parallel with 1 farad will become the value as 2 and 2 is in series with 1 farad so 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 this will give you the value as 4 seconds very important property of uh, rc network you need to remember the formula for time constant of rc network and whenever you have a current source replace it by open circuit you will get the answer okay c is the right option and under gate 2005 for one mark under triple paper again you can see the same similar circuit got repeated n number of times till 2023 these kind of problems are asked so i sincerely request all the aspirants of uh, gate exam to concentrate on these kind of transition analysis problems so you can see in the figure given below the initial capacitor voltage is 0 volts fine the switch is closed at t equal to 0 that is also okay we need to find out this final steady state voltage across the capacitor uh, unlike the previous problem only the term terminology is changed but the concept is the same options given are 20 volts 10 volts 5 volts and 0 volts so for t equal to 0 minus that is before the switching conditions the capacitor is not charged so that is understood that uh, it's a completely open circuited and no energy is stored in the capacitor so no need of drawing this again a separate circuit for this let us estimate for t greater than 0 for t greater than 0 the switch is closed when the switch is closed this is how the circuit will look like practical circuit for t greater than 0 so 20 volts supplying 10 ohms and the parallel combinations of 10 microfarads in parallel with 10 ohms now here the requirement is final steady state voltage across the capacitor so irrespective of the value of the capacitor given just calculate its voltage capacitor behaves as open circuit under steady state conditions so at t equal to infinity steady state conditions will be reaching and capacitor will become as open circuit in fact 
VC of infinity, that is VC of steady state conditions, is the voltage across the 10 ohms, and with the help of voltage division rule, it would be 20. Uh, multiplied with the combination of 10 and 10, that is 10 is the same branch resistance divided by the series sum of the resistors, that is 10 plus 10. So the answer would be 10 volts. So B is the right option. So I hope you like this class. Please share among your friends and subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for the future notification.